Hello. We are here with another low quality video because, you know, this is who I am. Eventually they'll get better, okay? If you're wondering why the lighting isn't up to par, it's because it's nighttime. And um, I have all the lights on in my house. And unfortunately, um, they're yellow lights. And then I'm actually sitting at my bar. If you guys know my house setup, this is where my bar is. And I have these LED strip lights around my bar. And I have them on full blast. The whitest, brightest light I have on here. And I'm still not getting enough light. So my second investment, I still haven't purchased a mic. That's my first investment. My second investment will be a ring light. But the reason I like haven't done it yet is because those kinds of things are expensive when you want to buy really great really great quality. And if I'm going to buy this kind of stuff, I want it to be amazing quality. So be patient with me. We'll get there. Um, I'm just going to pin my bangs back for this video. If you're confused by the title, I have no idea what I'm going to title this. It's kind of a mouthful. But I thought it would be a fun series to do a um, makeup progression of my life. What? I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> Obviously by the title. Um, so I don't know how to word it, but I thought it would be a fun idea to do like, um, my makeup from when I like first started getting into it up until like now <laughs> and like recreate them and tell you guys stories around that time in my life while I do it. And on top of that, be drunk. So shout out to my friend, Cassie. She got me this, um, I forgot what they're called. This starts with a B, I think. I am so bad, but it keeps your white claws cool. I like white claws just because they're easy to drink. Two, I do not get hangovers with white claws. I don't know what it is, but that's why they're my preferred choice. And also, they're like... <laughs> like trying to figure out they're on the lower end of calories I mean ultimately like if you're drinking alcohol should you really be hearing about that I don't know but um hang on this is my third one I'm about to start my fourth one I want to be like pretty drunk I know I'm such a lightweight listen listen Linda okay when I um when I start drinking the first couple, I'm like, I don't really feel it. And then all of a sudden it's like, hello, Linda. Why am I like this? Oh, let's get the next one rolling and going. Okay, so I'm going to start off with sixth grade. Um, I started playing with makeup at a very young age. I have very, very slight memories of digging into my grandma's makeup drawer when I was like, there's pictures. I don't have them. Otherwise I'd put them in the video. Um, but my grandma has them. I had been like five years old, maybe younger. Every time I went to her house, I would find the reddest lipstick and just Kylie Jenner that shit, you know? Um, and it was my favorite thing to do. And then a few years progressed. Um, I remember still being in New Mexico. So I was younger than eight or nine years old. I would get into my mom's makeup and get, I specifically remember this. I would get her mascara. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll just show you guys. I would get her mascara and I would put it like eyeliner on the bottom because I thought it was eyeliner and it was <laughs> so hard to get off. <laughs> Pretty sure she used like waterproof because that, sh that was hard to get off. Um, and then of course, growing up, I continued to use like the kid makeup or play with my mom's makeup. And I just remember always loving makeup. And um, so I thought this would just be a fun series I'm gonna do. Obviously I'm not doing it every week because I'm not trying to get this drunk every week. But I just thought it would be kind of fun to throw into the mix of things. Um, so when I like first started like really getting into it was my emo stage, which was in sixth grade. <laughs> and I would buy, I think it was 
CoverGirl or Maybelline, I can't remember, but like the smudge liner, if you know, you know. Um, and it would, so it was just like one that you twist up and you would, the, why can't I talk? Oh my gosh. The other end would be like this like eraser looking thing, but it was just to smudge it. And so I would pile on the eyeliner and then like sixth, seventh and eighth grade, I got out of that phase and seventh and eighth grade, it was more like basic younger girl makeup, if you will. Um, and then as I got older, it slowly started to progress and progress. But I thought it would be fun to be, of course, a little tipsy or drunk while I did it, but also tell you guys like stories of my life during that specific time. Now with sixth grade, it was kind of dark um, because that's when I, I don't wanna get too much into it. I lost my dad to cancer that year. Um, so I don't have a lot of, fun story times per se um so this one's gonna be a really quick makeup look <laughs> so i have like one tiny little story to go with this but the next one the seventh and eighth grade i have a hilarious embarrassing story and i can't wait to do that one because i had at the time i had um church friends and, and school friends and I specifically had two church friends that were girls and we wouldn't hang out in school, but we would hang out outside of school and in church. And I'm pretty sure they might watch my videos. I don't know, but if they do, they're in for a treat because I wonder if they still think about this. Um, anyways, you guys, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. You'll just have to wait till the next video. Um, it's so embarrassing and so I think it's funny now but at the time I was so traumatized but now I just I don't care I think it's hilarious but anyways I'm trying to get a little bit more drunk because this will make the makeup look even more funny oh, I just don't like this one that much I got the lime ones I had to get them at my local liquor store because my grocery store only carries the mango and black cherry and I like the mango. The black cherry you only drink when I'm like, that's all I got. Like it tastes like medicine, but I'll still drink it. Um, but the liquor store carries lime, the red grapefruit or ruby grapefruit. I don't even know. And the raspberry. And I've tried the grapefruit and the raspberry and I haven't tried the lime. So I was like, let's try the lime. Um, and I don't like it. It tastes so artificial. I don't know what I was expecting out of this. Truthfully, I just, the only like natural flavored drinks I've tried are Bon Viv. I think that's how you say it. They taste so natural. However, I just don't get very buzzed off them. I don't know what it is, but I can drink like 10 of them and I'm still like waiting around for the buzz, you know? And like I drink four White Claws and I'm good to go, so... I remember when I first tried a White Claw, it was back way before they got popular. It was actually a few months before I moved here to Utah um, and Addison picked some up and I, I remember like, what are these? I've never heard of these. I don't remember which flavor. It's probably black cherry and that's why I didn't like it. And I remember drinking it and I was like, what is this? No, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll stick to my margaritas, okay, and mojitos. Um, but now it's like what I prefer, so. Why is my pinky doing that? That's 10 minutes in and I haven't even started the makeup. <sighs> yeah, this one might not be as interesting, but like when I get to the senior year version of this series, I don't know, I'm gonna break it down to be like a short video because it's gonna be so long, so many stories. Um, but I'm just excited to do this because I legit have so much fun just sitting down and recording videos. Like it brings me so much happiness. And this week was garbage, absolute garbage. I'm actually taking a social media break. I don't consider YouTube social media. I know some people do, but I don't. Um, and today I finally woke up feeling decent and I'm like, I'm, I wanna film a YouTube video. I'm probably not gonna upload this video. I'm gonna look back and be like, no, no, okay, wait, I'm gonna finish this drink. I'm getting so burpy, it's so gross, I'm so sorry. 
Um, but I'm going to finish this white claw and then I'm going to come back because I thought I was kind of feeling ready, but I want to be a little bit more tipsy. So I'm going to be back. Shut up. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> Update. I'm just doing some check-ins at this point. I'm almost done with the fourth one. And I'm I'm feeling good. Am I like this, you know? That's when you know you're hitting it. Um, <sighs> where did this come from? I literally have three products in front of me for this look. So it's going to go by like that. So the basis of this video is just the pregame. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this one and then I'll be back. Update, it's finished. So four white claws in, and to some of you, you're probably like, that's it, girlfriend. Girl, that's it. Actually, I'm gonna get one more um, in just a second. I'm gonna have to get up and wash my hands after this, and that's when I'm gonna get the fifth one. But we're starting off with some foundation. So sixth grade, let's get a little backstory. Um, I hit my emo phase, <laughs> but like true emo phase. And I'll tell you why I had a best friend who was super like punk rock emo. She just was like my best friend through it all. I still remember her name. I hope she's doing well. Um, <laughs> And I was like, oh, like, she seems so cool. Like, I want to be like her. And so I started shopping at Tilly's. Back then, it was like the punk rock thing. Punk. punk. <laughs> I can't even remember. I'm so lame. It was a punk rock thing to do was shop at Tilly's. So I started shopping at Tilly's. I started I got a skateboard. I can go skateboard with my best friend. She was way better than me. Like, way better than me. Um, the only trick I could do was an ollie after tons of practice. And it was a lame ollie. It wasn't even cool. Um, but anyways, the reason I say it was a true emo phase, and I'm going to briefly touch about this because this is supposed to be a fun, lighthearted video, was because um, November of my sixth grade year, I lost my dad. To I turned to the emo phase because it appealed to me and listening to like punk rock music and like or screamo hardcore music and dressing the part and looking the part like it resonated with me so it was a huge part of who I was at the time I'm not even gonna so when it came to makeup um I don't think I can't remember um I don't think my friend was really wearing much makeup but I remember like Avril Lavigne and like artists like her would wear like tons of like dark makeup and like I wanted to look like that. And so I would pile on like that smudge eyeliner I talked about earlier. I would pile it on and like just on the top of it and on the bottom and just like smudge it out and just have that. Um, I don't have the smudge. I just have this Urban Decay one, which is way better. <laughs> so I don't, the only thing is I cannot find my pencil sharpener anywhere. So I'm hoping this is enough to get me through it. We'll find out. And on occasion, no, it was more than on occasion. It was like half and half. I would steal my mom's foundation and I would just use my hands and just, just like that. <laughs> I had pictures. I don't think I took any pictures during that time. Um, and I would mascara, of course. And that's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. So we are getting into the foundation so that I can go wash my hands. Um, I don't remember what foundation. I think it might have been MAC that my mom was using at the time. My mom introduced me to MAC when I was in 7th and 8th grade, so we'll get to that. So 6th grade was probably MAC as well. Um, and I st it's still my favorite foundation. I'm sorry. I've, I worked at Sephora. And I've tried them all. I have tried them all. And for my skin, the Studio Fix Liquid Foundation from MAC is still the GOAT. Like the Giorgio Armani Foundation. Someone returned it at my Sephora when I worked there. And um, we didn't, at this Sephora, we didn't carry Giorgio Armani. Only some did. And it happened to be my color. And so 
um, we were just going to toss it because it had been used. And I was like, can I take a sample? And they were like, sure. Took a sample, took it home, wore it twice, and I hated it. It broke apart. It didn't. I'm like, why is this so raved about? It's so expensive and it does nothing. But I'm so dripping. I'm trying. Oh, this like hurts. And I would just. I hate this so much already. And it was a lot. Like, oh, I hate the smell of this foundation though. I won't lie. <laughs> well, maybe this isn't that much darker. Oh, it smells like chemicals and Play-Doh. <laughs> um, but literally I've never smelled a foundation that actually smells good. And you know what the funny thing is, is there's this like, there's these makeup trends on um, TikTok that use their hands for foundation and they cake it on. And I'm like, girl, us millennials started that trend, okay? Back in like elementary and um, junior high, we started this trend. Oh, I wanted to have the new disappeared lips. Back then, we <laughs> Kylie Jenner who? Okay, we wanted our lips to disappear. If you remember, you remember, okay? Oh, this feels so weird. I have not applied foundation with my hands since this time. Oh my God, I hate this so much. It feels disgusting, like, huh? Oh yeah, and I wouldn't go down my neck. So imagine it being way darker. <laughs> I would stop right here. Okay, I wouldn't blend this much. I'm like being generous with my hands. I'm gonna get into better lighting once this is over so you guys can see. I just washed my hands and I got my next white claw and I'm trying not to lick my lips. I just freaking hate this crusty feeling on my lips. Why did I ever think this was a good idea? Like, and I'm not the only one. We all, we all look like this. Okay. So, I should probably get into the story time I want to tell. It's not a, don't get your hopes up. It's not even like a story time. It's just like, it's like I said, it was pretty ruled by, oh, you know what? I could actually tell a different story. Hang on, last minute, I'm changing my story. <laughs> I was gonna just basically talk about how we went to Disneyland shortly after my dad passed because my mom's amazing and like wanted us to like be happy and like have a good time and like I spent, $200 on churros, but like, we don't need to get into that. I had a crush on this boy. I'm gonna use his real name because I, I don't think he cares. It's like not a negative thing towards him. Um, his name was Colton, 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 Colton. I say it weird. Um, and <laughs> oh, this is so cringy, but I'm gonna talk about it. And I really, really liked him. And um, my friend, my best friend also liked him. And like, we didn't hold any hard feelings for each other. We're like, well, whoever can get him to like him wins kind of thing. We didn't, we're like, you bitch, like I liked him first. We weren't like that. We were like, well, whoever likes, whoever he likes can have him. Um, so... <laughs> Um, I was like, I'm going to make him a mixed CD of, because back then you burn CDs, <laughs> of the songs I like and give it to him on Valentine's Day. And my friend was like, I'm going to do the same thing. I was like, okay, girl, we'll see who makes the best mixed CD. And I know I was strictly like punk rock, rock listener, but deep down I still listen to like rap and like that kind of music because my brothers did. Um, so I put the CD on his desk or in, is it there on his desk or in his Valentine's thing? You know how we make Valentine's like baskets on the, and you tape the side of your desk and like you go around and you drop each other Valentine's. I don't know if they sold that, but back then they did, that was like a huge thing. So I either dropped it in his little basket or I put it on his desk and he never talked to me after that. <laughs> He didn't talk to my friend either. Um, I guess he wasn't into the emo girls. 
But listen, the funny part of this is that the very first song I put on that CD, <laughs> I can't even say it. Oh my gosh, I'm turning red through this foundation. It was, <laughs> it was My Humps by Black <laughs> By black eyed peas. Oh dear lord. Yeah, so my crush for Valentine's Day, make him a CD. And like the rest of the songs were chill, great songs. But the very first song was My Humps. He probably put that CD on and heard it and was like, what is she, what is this girl trying to say? When in reality, I had no idea what that song meant at the time. Genuinely had no idea what that song was about. And, um, yeah. <laughs> my humps, my lovely lady lumps. Check it out. I'm Capone, Fendi, and Madonna. Karen, baby, sure, and all this money got me wearing it. Let's get into what I would do. So, yeah, foundation. Get the coal eyeliner. I gotta get close for this. <laughs> um, let me take another drink. I'm gonna need this. So, anyways. Oh, man. My mirror's a little dusty. Um, so... Hang on. I haven't done this in so long that I don't remember how to do it. Like, it didn't look pretty. Like, my instinct is to make it look good, but I'm like, it didn't look good. Okay, it didn't look good. Okay, I'm just starting with that. We're going to come back to it. Um, Because I mainly made the bottom really thick. The top wasn't as thick. It was the bottom that was thick. Not even done yet. This looks scary. I look like the grudge. I'm going to talk about... My first real boyfriend, because I had like a little one in fifth grade, but that didn't count. Um, I had one in sixth grade, and oddly enough, they had the same name. I'm like, oh, I guess this guy's kind of cute. And my friend told me, hey, he thinks that you're really cute and he wants to be your boyfriend. And I was like, you know what? Okay, I want a boyfriend. So. We became, we became boyfriend and girlfriend, and in my sixth grade class, my teacher, I still remember his name, Mr. Galen, he was the best. He passed me when he shouldn't have because I missed so much school after my dad passed. But anyways, um, we could choose who we wanted to sit by. He was super lenient about that. Well, I, me and my new boyfriend decided to sit by each other in class, and he would draw me cute little pictures. I remember his full name and I'm not going to say it, but like that, I, re I remember details. And I was like, oh, that's super cute. Like this guy really likes me, but I wasn't super into him to be honest. I just wasn't. I just like agreed with it because it was like cool. Um, and I remember my friend came to me, it was like a few days or weeks. I don't remember time during this time of my life. Um, and he was, she was like, he really wants to hold your hand. Is that okay? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Like, he can hold my hand. Even so, I was like, that's not a big deal. I don't care. And so he started to hold my hand during recess. <laughs> this is so cringy. And so I was like, oh, like I have a boyfriend. He holds my hand. Like we're getting pretty. Meanwhile, we had a friend, a part of our like little circle of friends. I had like my best friend, then we had like three other friends that were part of our circle. And um, one of them was like the new weird girl. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be mean, but like this girl needed help. She's she was she's been through a lot in her life. If what she was telling us was the truth, and she needed help, but at the time, like sixth grade, we just she was the new weird girl. I'm sorry, it's what it is. But we were trying to be nice and include her in our friend group. Um, she thought she was a vampire. And this is where I felt bad because now that what age I am, like she she needed help and I feel really bad. But at the time, it was kind of like, oh, sixth grade, like what, what's going on? She thought she was a vampire and she would tell stories about how she like snuck out to like go suck people's blood. And she would tell us all these crazy stories about people that we went to school with. And she even went as far to like 
it's relevant that's why i'm talking about it she went as far as to like bring like this necklace with this like plastic like tiny little tube of like red dark red liquid and i'm like now that i'm older i'm like maybe she was a vampire anyway she would say like this is like special blood that i carry around at the time like we're like oh <laughs> but now i'm like maybe she was a vampire edward <laughs> um <laughs> sorry i'm sorry i shouldn't be making light of that but anyway she came to tell me one day that she saw him talking to another girl this is the start of my trust issues and i was like i don't i don't believe anything she's telling me <clears throat> because of like what she was saying um, sorry, my instinct is to clear this up, but I had it. I'm going to make it worse. And so I was like, I don't believe anything this girl's telling me because like she thinks she's a vampire. And so, um, I kept being a girlfriend to this guy. I say that cause it's like sixth grade. We're, well, the most we did was hold hands. Um, and all of a sudden he stopped sitting by me in class and... Um, my friend came up to me, my like best friend, and she was like, hey, he doesn't want to be your boyfriend anymore. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, I didn't care. I was like, oh, okay. And literally the next day he was talking to this one girl. I oh, so what the vampire girl was telling me was actually true. Girl, she was a, she was a vampire. Don't come for me, please. Girl, if you're watching this, don't come for me, okay? Unless, like, you know Edward. <laughs> like, although, like, I prefer Jacob. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm one of those. I'm one of those. I'm a Jacob fan. Listen, I was all for Edward, but now that I'm older, I'm all for Jacob. Like, Edward's toxic. Excuse me? I don't know what where I'm going with this. Um, so yeah, let's make this darker. I hate this so much. Oh, that sounds not right. Should I smudge it with my fingers? No, I'm not going to. Because sometimes I wouldn't smudge it. It would look like this. Those are the kind of funny like boy story times. Anyways, I wouldn't end it without any mascara, but like. I didn't know how to apply mascara properly and I would like blink on it and call it a day and like it would get up here. So, and I wouldn't apply bottom because I just wouldn't. So I was like, well, it's thick enough on the bottom. That's it. This is my sixth grade look, reincarnated. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I feel like I should do my hair. But honestly, I wore ponytails like all the time in sixth grade because like my mom, I'd start going to school once my dad passed and before that she would work. So I always did my own hair and it was either down and like straightened or it was in a ponytail. So this is actually very fitting and I had blonde hair. So imagine this, but with blonde hair. Arrgh. What was that? I'm not a pterodactyl. Yeah, and like a black shirt or black hoodie with like jeans or like black, um, the black Dickies pants. If you know, you know with Van, I think that's, is that when Van started? No, 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 no. Vans might have been a thing at that time, but I preferred Chucks, black Chucks. <laughs> black chucks all day every day yeah so that's i found this tiktok that was like if you want to scare people you want to <gasps> okay that was actually scary do you guys remember in like it was sixth grade or fifth grade for some people it was sixth grade for me that you like write your like favorite company celebrity or whatever it may be and write them a letter and they would showcase that some people like got written back i wrote simple plan but i titled it as for pierre bouvier 
and like professed my like obsession and love for him. <sighs> Did I hear anything back? No, no, I didn't. I'm still salty about that. Okay. I'll get through it. I'll get through it. Wouldn't be a email look unless I started crying and like smeared it, right? Oh, I'm gonna regret that. There we go. That's the first um, look. Let me know your guys' embarrassing story times in sixth grade because I would love to feel like I'm not alone. Okay. Oh, this lighting was so much better on this side. Sixth grade Morgan right here. You're welcome.